guys, it's Sadie and today's video is going to be my top 10 tips for transfer students. So I know a video on my experience as a transfer student from a community college to a four-year university has been a long awaited, but I felt like I needed to post it when it would mean something. So three years ago I was a senior in high school and I wasn't really looking forward to applying to colleges like a lot of my classmates were, um, so I was kind of in a weird place. And then two years ago I started my first year as a community college student and I wish there was more advice out there for people like me. So it's back to school season now and I'm posting this before people go back to school because if you were anything like me, um, maybe you're looking for advice or you're just looking for your options or maybe you're just curious about um, how transferring works in college. Maybe you're like a second year community college student looking into your options transferring into a four-year university and still are unsure how to do that because I know that I was unsure until the tail end of my community college experience. And if any of those things I just said applies to you even vaguely, I hope this video will be helpful and you can take something away from it. So before I get into my top 10 tips for transfer students, I just kind of want to tell you guys where I am as a student myself. Um, I just finished up two years at Cascadia Community College in Bothell, Washington and, and I will be an incoming junior student at the University of Washington Seattle campus come this fall so in around a month I'll be a student there. I already have one degree under my belt thanks to community college. I have an associate's degree and at the University of Washington I will either be double majoring or double degreeing so yeah. I definitely do not regret spending my first two years as a typical college student um, at a community college but I know that's not for everyone but if it is for you then there's no shame in that you know you're not stuck um, one thing that I noticed about community college is that everyone there was either there to get out and do something better with their lives or they're there to continue so community college is a great place it's a safe space so that being said let's just get started with the video so my first tip is to make a list of schools that you want to transfer into this doesn't even have to be a formal process you don't have to like um, type out your reasons why or anything. I, th I honestly just think that making a list of schools, like potential schools you want to aim for or apply to at some point, I think that's really helpful because um, it sets kind of a goal for you. You have a path, you know what kind of schools you're aiming for and from there I think you should research um, what their acceptance rate is, what type of GPA range that they accept. That kind of information will really, really help shape um, how you perform as a community college student. All the schools that I applied to, uh, the GPA range for acceptance was around 3.8 to 4.0, so I got that 4.0 GPA because I knew that if I wanted to get into these schools, getting that GPA was my best bet. Researching schools, I think, is also a little bit motivating. Community college can campuses can be a little bit small and less social than larger universities or colleges so it could be motivating if you want to kind of transfer out of that kind of student body into something bigger and um, a busier community and goal setting is definitely a good practice as a college student in general so why not start early on and make this list of colleges a long-term goal for you my second transfer tip would be to get in touch with a counselor um, counselors are literally trained to be able to help you throughout your educational career they're not teaching you content they're kind of organizing the content for you in a way that will help you get to where you need to go um, I made at least three um, appointments my entire year at community college but I did check in with my counselor a few times I just wanted to make sure I was on track for graduation making these appointments go in there with a goal to tell your counselor where you want to go and from there they will literally start a file for you and make sure the classes you're taking will get you on track for those schools. They can also tell you valuable information about transferring from your particular school to a particular university because this is what they are trained to do. They'll let you know deadlines, they'll let you know prerequisites, they can literally help you throughout this entire ordeal. So get in touch with a counselor or a transfer specialist at your school and I know that you will not regret it. So my third transfer tip is to take this experience seriously. If you're an incoming senior and you're not going to a four-year university but you're going to a community college or if you're a community college student right now, take the time that you're gonna spend there seriously. You're still in college, okay? All of the credits that you take as a transfer student will count toward your ultimate major at a four-year university. 
So with that being said, you do want to take your classes seriously. You want to build that GPA up early because oftentimes community college classes are way smaller. You get to know your professors a lot better and you get overall a more in-depth experience with the 101 classes and 200 classes that at a university would be taken in a huge lecture hall. You're over here taking it with like 20 to 30 to 40 students and you really get to um, better immerse yourself in the material. So take this as a good learning experience and I think you're definitely set up for success at a community college so I cannot stress this enough take this this is college that you're in albeit it's a little bit more similar to high school with the smaller classes and stuff like that but it's still college you guys the material here is not any easier so you will have to work to get a good GPA but that's expected of you as a student make sure you're getting your money's worth of an education so my fourth tip is to pick a major early on I think if you're done with your first year at community college, you should um, definitely be decided or maybe be choosing between one or two, but you definitely should have a path at that point because for tip number five, you should make your credits count. If you're going to be taking um, classes for cheaper and smaller class sizes at a community college, but these will ultimately feed into your major or your degree at a four-year university, then you want to make sure that these credits count towards your major because at a four-year university, you do have a limit to how many credits you can take. For example, if you're going to be transferring 90 credits over from a community college into a university that will only accept um, like 210 credits for a degree, then you want to make sure all those 90 credits count. From my community college, I transferred a total of 90, and to get the degree that I want, I need a total of 180. So I'm already halfway there. To get a little bit more specific, I'm a communications major at the University of Washington, so at my community college, I made sure that I took communications 101, 102, I took all of my prerequisite math and English classes there. Um, and I took as many communications classes as I could so that when I got to the university, I already had quite a few um, experience credits under my belt. So I guess my transfer tip number four and five got a little bit mixed up there, but they really do go hand in hand with one another. I just want to go back to tip number four, choose a major early. Um, if you choose a major early, then you will definitely feel like you're going somewhere. Um, being decided as a communications major early on definitely helped me get in touch with people who are similar minded and professors who had really important resources for me so when you pick a major I feel like you pick a community and that's really nice to have for transfer tip number six I wanted to let you know that because community colleges have a kind of a more diverse student body you have people at different points in their educational career more at community colleges like you have incoming seniors you have people in high school who are already taking college classes or you have like actual parents whose kids are in college but they want to go back to college themselves or people who have established careers that are going to school to further their careers you know community colleges are a big hub of different types of people same goes for universities but I'm talking community colleges right now um, and because of that professors are usually a little bit more accommodating so for example um, I went to school with a lot of parents and sometimes they have to be more concerned with the lives of their children than their school lives and oftentimes they would have to put schoolwork aside to take care of their kids and my professors were very accommodating of that. So what I'm trying to say is that if work gets really hectic or if your extracurriculars get a little bit hectic, you have a little bit more of a cushion at a community college. So what I'm pretty much trying to say is that you should just supplement your education with work experience, with internships, or with extracurriculars. Um, because you do have a little bit more of a cushion at a community college, you know, like if something gets super busy, I'm sure professors are a little bit more understanding than they would be at a giant four-year college or institution, you know what I mean? I'm definitely not saying take advantage of your professors, but just keep that in the back of your mind that if you do need help, help is more readily available to you directly from your professors at a community college. So for transfer tip number seven, I want to encourage you to get an associate's degree while you're there. Um, and an associate's degree could be anything from just a typical like general studies or global studies degree, or it could be a pre-major degree like pre-business, pre-communications, pre-economics. <laughs> 
pre-nursing, you know, that's a really popular one. Like if you need 90 credits to get an AA and you can transfer 90 credits over to university, you already have enough to get a degree. Like I'm sure you would have to take like a few classes to complete an associate's degree that wouldn't necessarily feed directly into your ultimate major. But at the same time, you could, at the end of your college learning, end up with two degrees instead of just one degree from the university, just because you decided to do a little bit of extra work while you were in community college. So transfer tip number eight is something I wish I had known when I was a transfer student, and that is to befriend your professors, okay? Like, I'm not saying that you have to be a teacher's pet or anything, but you should definitely keep in contact with your professors, talk to them a lot during the quarter, uh, maybe take multiple classes from a particular professor that's in your field. And that's just because professors are amazing people, but also because a lot of universities and colleges will, when you're applying for their school, they will ask for recommendation letters from professors. So you don't want to end up where I was and kind of have to go back to your favorite professor and really talk to them and convince them that you needed this letter done for you. Try to make sure you're on good terms with maybe one or two professors um, because they could really help you out with writing recommendation letters for a university or college or maybe even for a job you can put them down as a reference. More often than not, they're happy to do it if you give them ample enough time to do it and if they really know you because it's really difficult to write good things about someone you don't know. So you want to make sure they know that you're a good student and they know a little bit more about you than just how you perform as a student. Okay, transfer tip number nine is to be wary of deadlines. You may see on a lot of college or university websites or their social media pages, you might see an automatic deadline for applications for college admission, but those may be the deadlines for freshman applicants. If you're a transfer student, you are not a freshman applicant. You are a transfer student. You're going to be going in more often than not as a junior. And deadlines for transfer students are often kept separate from deadlines for freshman students. Make sure when you're researching deadlines and writing it down in your planner or anything, make sure you're looking at the right sort of deadlines. And as a transfer student, applying to a school is often not the last deadline you will have for that school. Oftentimes they will ask for more information about you. They may ask for a recommendation letter, they may ask to do a Skype interview with you, or they may ask for you at the end of everything to send in your complete full college transcript from the school you attended. To sum up transfer tip number nine, just one more time, make sure you're looking at the correct deadlines, make sure you're meeting those deadlines, and make sure you're meeting those deadlines to a college or university's expectations. And finally, transfer tip number 10 is to take care of yourself. Oh, I know that sounds a little bit cheesy, but um, I noticed that a lot of transfer students are struggling with the fact that they are attending a community college. Um, for some reason, that sort of education is seen as secondary or inferior to students who are going to a four-year university or college or anything of the sort. Don't let where you are right now affect where you're going, okay? If you're in a community college, you have so much potential to go anywhere you want to with your educational career. All you have to do is put the work in and... And I firmly believe that you can only work super hard if your body and your mind and your heart in general are capable of doing so. So make sure you're taking care of yourself, make sure you're thinking positive thoughts, make sure you have goals and make sure you know that you're going somewhere, um, make sure you don't burn out in a community college, um, make sure that you're eating three meals a day, that you take a shower when you can. And that's it for my 10 transfer tips for college students. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful or helpful in some way. And I am going to be filming another video about my transfer student advising and orientation session at the UW. So that video is going to be all about what I learned about being a transfer student in a brand new environment pretty much. So stay tuned for that one. And I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have an Instagram, please follow me at odangdanny with two eyes. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.